What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Before we get started, I just wanna bring up, yes, I cut myself shaving and that's what that is, so I apologize. So as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we're gonna be talking about compression clothing. Now this is something that I have talked about a little bit in the past. I've actually made a video very similar to this a couple years ago, but a couple things have changed and I really wanted to go in depth of exactly what I use and why I use what I use, so hopefully that can help some people out there because I've been getting a lot of questions about it recently. Before we get into the compression clothing, Clothing, I do want to explain a little bit about why I do use it. I'm sure most of you guys already know this, but if you don't, I am somebody that had lost 180 pounds, and so with that, you are left with loose skin. So the reason I use compression clothing is just to keep my skin not moving around too much when I'm doing high intense workouts. So the CrossFit workouts that I do, I pretty much will wear compression clothing during all of those workouts. I actually didn't even start using compression clothing or it had any sort of need or anything like that until I started doing CrossFit because with the bodybuilding workouts that I was doing, everything was very slow and controlled. There wasn't jumping, I wasn't doing like double unders or muscle ups or anything that really required me to like move like in a fast motion at all. You know, it was a lot of like chest press and I would do the stairs and so it wasn't anything that I, just, I just didn't need to use compression clothing. So I actually didn't even start thinking about it or it was never even like my skin wasn't ever even an issue until I started doing the types of movements that I do in CrossFit. So the shirts that I actually wear are the Under Armour heat gear. So it's actually, they're actually like little tank tops. So these are them right here. I'll link everything down in the description. None of this is sponsored or anything like that, but I want you guys to be able to find it if you are interested. The reason I like these is one, it's a tank top so I can wear regular t-shirts with it. And the other thing is that it's not too aggressive um, and they're kind of they're pretty thin so when it's hot and I'm sweating a lot they're not constricting so for me the reason that I wear compression clothing is to be comfortable when I am working out the only time I ever wear compression clothing is when I am working out I don't wear it in my day-to-day -day life just because I don't need to so I, I don't feel uncomfortable you know walking around or just sitting talking so right now I'm not wearing anything uh, but yeah so that's why I really like the compression clothing from Under Armour it's very very like light but it still works pretty well it keeps everything in place that needs to be be kept in place. The biggest areas that I have that move around are probably, I would say, uh, you know, the, the skin that I have over my chest. Um, that's not that bad, honestly. Uh, I actually have a few of these where I've cut the, the top out, uh, just because sometimes it'll stick up a little bit too much and I just I just don't want it to be showing. Uh, so I actually have some where I've cut those out and when I do that, that makes this part right here not as like tight. Um, so for me, my chest isn't too big of an issue, but the biggest issues that I have are probably my legs, the inside of my legs, and then the lower part of my stomach. Um, so what I do for my uh, legs that I wear are Pair of Thieves underwear. Now they have a couple different kinds, and again, I will link it down in the description, but the kind that I'm wearing right now, oh, that you can see, wow, this is a great angle. Uh, so these are, they're called like the super long uh, compression underwear or like boxer briefs. Again, it'll be linked down in the description. The reason that I like the long ones, and it's very important that I get the long ones because I, I, I have to have them as long, is because I actually wear them, you'll be able to see, I actually wear them pretty high so I wear it pretty much all the way up to my belly button right there and then it goes pretty low again as you can see. For me the main pro for using compression clothing is it makes me comfortable when I'm working out and for me that's a really big deal when I'm doing the CrossFit movements when there's a lot of moving around it's just nice knowing that everything is staying in place staying where it needs to stay. Now obviously there's always going to be cons with anything so the main con is that it's just it just takes a little bit more planning so I can't just like show up to a gym and, and like oh we're gonna work out okay cool whatever I have shorts with me you know it's like if I don't have the compression clothing, it's really not very comfortable for me to do the crossbow workouts. So it's, I wouldn't say that it's a crutch, but it's definitely something that I have to deal with, uh, which is completely worth it. You know, I'd rather be using compression clothing than being, you know, 180 pounds heavier. So for me, it's, you gotta give and you gotta take. And for me, this is just one of the things that you have to kind of deal with. A couple buyer tips for you guys that maybe are thinking about getting some compression clothing. What I have found that works out for me is if I buy something that is a size smaller than what I would normally wear. So right now I'm wearing a size large shirt but the compression clothing that I wear is a size medium. So if you're a size extra large, go for a large and so on and so on. For me, I've just found that that helps because again, it's compression clothing. You want it to be pretty tight. And like I said, with this heat gear stuff from Under Armour, it's not too thick or anything like that. So you can kind of get away with it being pretty tight because I've tried getting the larges in the Under Armour and the same thing and it just wasn't tight enough. And I just, it felt kind of like I was spending money on this thing that I wanted to make my, you know, my skin not move and it wasn't really working that well. And again, the medium 
mediums aren't too tight to where it's uncomfortable and like I can't breathe or anything like that. So for me, I would say go about a size down. I do the same thing in my boxers that I wear. Um, it's always going a size down. So talking about the boxers that I wear, again, the pair of thieves that I'm wearing right now, I wear these always. I pretty much always have <laughs> my stomach, like I said, my stomach is pretty much always tucked inside my boxers. That is just a comfort thing and that is something that I do always. No matter if I, not if I'm working out, it's not like a, I always, whenever I'm working out, that's the only time I do that. I do that at all times just for me. It is just more comfortable to not having, have the lower part of my stomach kind of moving around. So if you're somebody that is dealing with that, I highly recommend getting longer boxers because then you can kind of tuck your belly into your boxers. I know that sounds weird, but if you have loose skin, you understand how it is. And then you can still have it go down long enough because again, I need it to go down pretty long because I have a good amount of loose skin right here on the lower part of my leg. So now the next question that a lot of people ask me is why don't why don't I just get loose skin surgery instead of like dealing with the compression clothing and things like that? And for me, honestly, like it just doesn't bother me enough to want to get surgery. So the thing with surgery is one, I'm not trying to make excuses but the reason I haven't gotten is one it's expensive you know it's gonna be at least thirty thousand dollars for me to get all the loose skin removed if I wanted to do that two it's very painful and I'm not somebody that's super fond of going under the knife and going through a major surgery if it's not something that I needed to do and three is I just don't need it I'm not having any pain or anything like that for me it would just be mainly like a cosmetic thing or just like a comfort thing and again if that's why you want if you want to get surgery for those reasons by all means go for it but just for me it's just not enough of a reason to go through all of that just to get the loose skin removed that I'm able to deal with in in these ways it costs you know twenty dollars to buy one of these and I'm completely happy and I'm completely healthy and I am pain free free from the loose skin okay so I just kinda wanna show you guys what this stuff looks like when I put it on and like have a shirt over it okay it's on mm -hmm. how's my hair look terrible okay good <laughs> luckily this is my brother that's filming so it's I mean it's still kinda weird but I'm about to get naked a little bit oh hey oh man that's embarrassing so I just wanted to show you first the boxers so again like I said, they're really long. They come all the way up here, and then I keep them, again, I keep them down pretty low right there. And then I want, so I want to show you uh, what it looks like when I put the compression shirt on. So, okay, okay, I'm gonna pull these up. okay, so what I normally do is this, okay, it's not inside out. So what I normally do, so I put this on, and then what I do, like I said, so like I said, the uh, my lower stomach is the thing that moves around the most. So what I actually do is it kind of acts as like two layers. So this, my boxers go here, and then the compression shirt will go over that, and then I tuck that in to the shorts. So I'll tie these, and what that does, what tying the shorts does, is it actually helps the. Um, People are gonna make fun of how I tie things because I do the rabbit ears like a child. Um, so it helps keep the, the shirt from moving around too much. Look at the back of the shirt, it's awesome. This is a coffee shop here in San Diego. It's called Spill the Beans, but the back of the shirt says pothead. <laughs> um, so, and then I just put this like that. And then, is, is it showing in the back at all, this one? I mean, it's showing on your A little bit. There you go. Yeah, so like, so like again, like it, it'll show a little bit, so that's why, like I said, some of them I'll cut. But again, so that's what it'll look like when I work out. Yeah, so you can't even see it this time, but sometimes, like I said, it'll, it'll maybe like show a little bit there. But for me, like if you're somebody that's worried about the compression clothing, like maybe showing a little bit, like if you're worried about people seeing it, I think this is a really good option. It doesn't really show that much. And then even if you want, like, it's like pretty popular to wear like those like half what are they called, like leggings or, what are you, what are they, tights. like tights, yeah. yeah. Like the three quarter tights, those are pretty popular and if you have loose skin on your legs, those are awesome because you can just wear those. I have some of those and then you don't ever have to worry about your leg loose skin showing. But that's what it looks like, it works super well. All of my CrossFit workouts, this is pretty much what I'm wearing and it works really well. But there you guys go, that is the compression clothing that I wear and that is exactly how I wear it. Again, make sure you size down on whatever you get. I think that that's really helpful uh, just because it helps compress things a little bit better. But again, I hope that video helped you guys out. I hope it answered some of your questions and now you kind of know exactly what I do when I do work out. Again, that is what I wear every single day uh, when I'm doing CrossFit. But again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There's one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up if I am. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.